how's it going in this video let's have a look at the ancient os for the lgv30 so this is based out of android version 10.0 and it also has the latest android security patch level as of now and basically you can summarize this room as a pixel experience room with a lot of features all right so let's get started so first of all this room comes inbuilt with google apps so that's the first thing you should know so you do not really need to flash google apps separately and talking of google apps it comes with lots of them inbuilt so you have google chrome google photos all kind of google apps and let me just go in here to the system settings here you can see gestures jump to camera three button navigation you even have the option for android 10 navigation and you can customize the pack sensitivity but there's no feature to you know reduce the actionable area of the back gesture so it is on the entire left and right edge which could end up being pretty annoying when you want to open up a certain menu like a menu on the left for google or some other apps like that but that's that and let's move on let me turn off fluid navigation gestures that i use so that do not they do not mess with android 10 gestures so first of all i'm going into the ancient features but before that before i forget I'll show you something else. Someone requested me to show the launcher that the room comes with and I think that was a pretty good point because that should clearly be shown. So let me switch back to the quick step launcher and as you can see here you can trigger the Google command by swiping across the bottom two corners of the screen and that's that and after that let's move on this is the default launcher as you can see here and there are a lot of google apps and you have the option for home settings notification dots you can enable that you can have a look at these features i'm not really going to go in depth into all of those but here's the stuff and then you have the wallpaper options so not very much going on with this launcher so it only has the basic stuff and there's a row of most used apps on the top and you can search basically across the apps so that's sad let's now jump in and let me show you the sound section here so under the sound section you will see live caption feature and this is a very cool feature and you can enable it and it will basically provide you caption side by side so it comes in useful when you are actually let's say wanting to watch a video but you do not have earphones and you'll have to watch it on a loudspeaker but you want to not disturb others around you so just enable live captions and mute the video and it will translate all of that into text so this is a really useful features and it works quite well and then you have all kind of stuff charging vibration that kind of stuff and you have the hi-fi contact option you can use them when you plug in the earphones and about the bugs i have put in a link down in the description below about the bugs that android 10 rooms basically have you can have a look at that and it can be end up being pretty useful and all right if you have any doubts you can let me know in the comment section below so let's move on now you have the status bar icon options you have the volte icon you have 4g icon this kind of stuff clock settings and as you can see here this room has tons of features and that's what i like about this room you have the pixel features enabled some of them at least and you have a lot of google apps you may like or may hate that i personally prefer not to have google apps inbuilt but that's just me and here you have quick style battery style battery styles battery percentage battery icon and you have the network traffic indicators you can change the location to expanded status bar or the status bar 
and you have double tap to sleep here you have ambient display options here i'll use always on and it works perfectly fine for me and then if you go into the theme section then you will see different stuff here as you can see here and now that you move on you have headline icon shape you have one ui something so that's that and while we are talking about the theme section let me just quickly go back to the display part and you, you here you have for option for the dark theme and other than that you can find here styles and wallpaper so basically you can customize how different stuff will look on your phone and as you can see here this is pretty cool and you can even create a custom design from yourself because there are a number of phones here so you can basically apply that and it will change the look of your phone and as you can see here and that's not where it ends you even have the clock customizations you have the grid customization okay so it stopped for some reason i don't know why it's stopping but i don't like it all right after that minor hiccup let's go into the clock clock section and you can customize the clock here as you can see here there are different styles and this will also reflect on your always on display so the launcher is kind of working fine here it was weird that it stopped but not really a big deal and here you have I mean display as I already showed you you have quick settings you have the tile option number of tiles number of columns on landscape that kind of stuff bottom slider of the uh, brightness slider or on the top and you have the option for showing system info here too so basically you can show the CPU temperature or GPU utilization in terms of percentage and it would show up here where the phone is muted is showing let me show it to you so that's the GPU utilization as you can see here and that's the CPU temperature right there on the left top corner and after that let's move on to the buttons and here you have the volume rocker options you can wake the device playback control that kind of stuff and you have the power menu customizations as you can see here there are quite a few options here and you can choose any of them and here you have gestures to swipe to screenshot and here you have the navigation bar options and the lock screen options you can authenticate with fingerprint even after a reboot without requiring to enter your pin and one missing feature here is the face unlock but that is supposed to be added eventually to this room from what i have heard and here you have some notification options as you can see here and here's the ambient light i've enabled it and it looks pretty cool and you can even change up the colors for this now after that let's go in to the animations you can change up the animation all right here you have the smart charging customization as you can see here and after that you have some miscellaneous stuff it also has signature spoofing support so that's cool so this is pretty much it for this video if you like to click on the like button and also subscribe to my channel for more such videos and about the performance battery it has been pretty phenomenal just like any other q room i have no issues with performance it's very smooth and battery life is pretty amazing too let me see if the graph shows up here i have pretty kind of weird usage okay but it shows up here for i fully charged it some time back and as you can see here i lost about 43 percent for two hour 10 minutes of screen on time and that's pretty good for my kind of usage all right bye